Daily Trader TV, episode 41. It's the 22nd of May, 2018 market update. Just remember, I'm not qualified to give you individual advice. Don't follow me into any trades. And trading involves risks that could involve losing more than your initial stake. So look back at some of the previous videos on leverage and margin. Uh, so let's just look at uh, the markets first. A couple of things that I'm looking at. UK is heavily weighted towards the commodity sector, mining, etc. Uh, so it's having a very good run whilst seeing inflation increasing. Start to see commodities have been on a good run, so things like oil, miners, etc. So uh, that explains FTSE 100, 350, 350 and small caps have followed. Start to get back into the story zone, high up above the mean averages. Uh, what I'm watching at the moment is the DAX and the transports. And they don't seem to be leading out of this leg. s and is not following either, really. Uh, the main things I'm watching is, is the dollar and oil. So I've had a very, very strong run up in the price of oil. Uh, it's going to be particularly interesting to see how things like the airlines cope. Looking at uh, interest rates, still an upward trend, as you'd expect with inflation rising. And as I said, the dollar. So the, the dollar is strengthened against the euro. And against a lot of the uh, Asian currencies. Which is obviously problematic for emerging markets. Uh, obviously as the dollar strengthens, it becomes harder to service dollar denominated debt. And uh, you can see we uh, we we based out put some constructive action into the into the dollar. <clears throat> Looking at the portfolio, cake making new highs. DPU come back in. Hostel world bumbling around. Hopefully, ready can move out to new highs. We're at 52 week highs or breakout. HOTC, hope, again, hopefully it can uh, take these last areas of supply out and move higher. OTB, come back into mean trend. Hopefully going to move back out now. The results are through. Boom, still waiting on results to come back. Uh, about funding for it's working capital. FLTA moved out. Hopefully it's, uh, it's now going to start trending back out. Been some nice volume in that recently. RFX bimbling about. Hollywood Bowl at new highs. Gym Group. New highs. So, how's that translate? Well, we've, we've got a near 5% gain on the table for the year, realised. Uh, and we're just over 1% off the all-time high, which is okay. So, we're looking at between an 8 and 9% unrealised return for the year so far. Uh, typically well would like 20 to 30 percent a year uh, obviously you're not going to get that every year but uh, that's the aim so that's it for now uh, 
if I take any new trades, I'll let you know what those trades are, but don't have much on the watch list at the moment and uh, all the seat to the table. So I think I've mentioned before, uh, maximum open risk I'm prepared to take is 10R, 63% cash. I've got enough exposure uh, at the moment. So unlikely I've taken any new trades for a while now, but keep you updated just to let you know how the, uh, the year's going.